days, it's morning news. Now it's around 7:50, and before 8 o'clock in the morning, I will read some news. So I often have a habit of reading news early in the morning and late at night. Today's magazine is from National Geographic, one of my favorite websites to read news. And in this website, it's included all types of topics, from history to animals, nature, traveling. Science, lots of other things as well, and today I'm quite interested in history. This is the History Magazine. Do you like learning history? Me too. I love learning about the war and in the ancient times, especially about the kings and queens in the ancient times, in the medieval times. So today's History Magazine is about who are the real queens of six. The six wives of Henry VIII take center stage in a mash musical that retells their turbulent life and death stories. Here's a story behind the hit. So the Henry VIII, the King Henry VIII, had six wives. Let's discover about his six wives. Published August 18, 2022, 11 minute read. Author Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss found inspiration for their hit musical in the lives and loves of King Henry VIII, but six tells a story from the woman's point of view. Each queen gets her moment in the spotlight to explain her fate of being divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived, divorced. Catherine of Aragon. Larger than life, Henry VIII ruled England for 36 years, 1509 to 1547, ranging war against France and Scotland, separating from the Catholic Church, and paving the way from, for the Constitution of England, among other political achievements. But young Prince Henry was not destined to be the king when his older brother Arthur died in 1502 at age 15 Henry became the heir to the throne Henry married his first wife the daughter of Spanish king Ferdinand II and the widow of Henry's older brother in 1509 she gave birth to the future queen Mary I in 1516 but failed to produce Henry's hope for male hair. When Arthur died, Henry didn't just inherit the throne, he inherited his brother's fiance, Catherine of Aragon, after marrying the two became parents to a son, who tragically died two months later. Their daughter, Mary, was born in 1516, but by 1526, the marriage has not produced the male heir Henry needed to secure the succession. He began looking for a new bride, even though the Catholic Church made it impossible to divorce Catherine. In the end, the answer was simple. Henry believed he was a king ordained by God, so he, not the Pope, had ultimate authority over the kingdom. As such, he could grant his own annulment. This decision led to England's break with the Catholic Church and the creation of the England Church. After the annulment, Catherine was given the title Dowager Duchess of Wales and she lived her days at Kimbolton Castle. She died in 1536 from cancer at the age of 50. Mary, by the way, went on to become Queen of England and Ireland from 1553 to 1558, during which time she fought to reverse the England Reformation, brought about during her father's reign. Beheaded Anne Boleyn Henry's marriage to Anne Boleyn required England's tumultuous split from the Pope and Rome. She gave birth to Elizabeth I in 1533. After she failed to produce a son, Henry had her executed in 1536. While still married to Catherine, 
Henry had been begun wanting a court beauty, Anne Boleyn, and was determined to marry her, a lady in waiting to Catherine. Anne was sophisticated, charming, and confident. She is commonly believed to be the wife he loved the most, as his advisers worked on the king's great matter of the divorce. The couple had to wait seven years to be married. They flaunted their relationship in court. He wrote her love letters, which still exist today. I hope soon to see you again. He wrote, which will be to me a greater comfort than all the precious jewels in the world. Anne was six months pregnant when the family said, "I do." In June fifteen thirty-three, and three months later, she gave birth to Elizabeth I. Later, she had two stillborn children and suffered a miscarriage. In fifteen thirty-six, the fetus appeared to be male. Henry did not have his hair. Little by little, Henry grew tired of Anne, and his eyes caught sight of a new woman, Jane Seymour. To end the marriage, Henry needed to find a way out, and he found it through accusing Anne of high treason, for the crimes of adultery, incest, and plotting to murder the king. Anne was arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London. She went on trial, denied all charges, but was found guilty. Anne was beheaded on May seventeen. Fifteen thirty-six at the tower and buried in an unmarked grave beneath the parish church. There died Jane Seymour. Henry proposed to Jane Seymour the day after Anne's body execution, and they were married a month later. She bore a son, the future Edward. Sex in fifteen thirty-seven, but died within twelve days of giving birth. While marriage to Anne, Henry visited the Seymour home, and it's believed that when he first laid eyes on Jane, he who served as a lady in waiting for both Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn, as in his relationship with Anne, Henry began courting Jane while he was still a married man, beautiful and reserved. She was a stark contrast to his first, first two wives. Before long, rumors of his attraction to her spread. He proposed to her the day after Anne's body's execution, and they were married a month later. She bore a son, the future Edward VI, in 1537, but died within twelve days of giving birth. She is the only wife buried with him in the same tomb in Street George Chapel at Windsor Castle. Divorce and of clubs. Henry ministers search high and low for a new wife for the king, whose admirable as Malmerita reputation precedes him. Anne of Cleves, the daughter of a German duke, become a prospect for diplomatic reasons. The marriage would ally England with the Protestant duchy, thus solidifying England's religious reformation. But Henry needed to know what she looked like. On the advice of Thomas Cromwell, he sent his famous favorite court painter, Hans Holbein the Younger, to the German duchy, as he approved based on the portrait. Henry did not meet Anne, the daughter of German duke, until they married in 1540. The marriage arranged for diplomatic reason was annulled by mutual consent after six months. When Anne arrived, however, he was crestfallen to see she was not as fair as reported. Remember, he was no great look at the time of his life, a beast in chronic pain, with an unpredictable temper. Nevertheless, they were married in Greenwich Palace on January six, fifteen forty. But he was already looking for a way out. The marriage was annulled six months later. On the technicality, it hadn't been consummated. She was given Haver Castle, Anne's Boleyn former home, and the title King's beloved sister. Thomas Cromwell was not so fortunate. Henry had him executed for his miscalculation. Beheaded, Catherine Howard. Henry was forty-nine and Catherine nineteen or twenty when the pair married in fifteen forty. Three weeks after his separation from Anne, 
accused of astrometallation, Catherine was executed in 1542. Henry was 49. Catherine was 19 or 20 when he spotted her among the ladies in waiting to his previous wife, Anne of Cleves. Vivacious and full of energy, the young Catherine had no choice in the matter. The pair married in 1540, three weeks after her separation with Anne, and she became his trophy wife. No doubt turned off by her much older husband, who suffered from various ailments including Ulcra's legs, she fell in love with Thomas Culpepper, one of Henry's young advisors. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Cameron, found out, and he reported her indiscretion, including those that occurred before their marriage with other men, to Henry. She was charged with unchastity before her marriage, concealing her discretion and adultery acts of treason. She was executed on February 13, 1542. Survived. Catherine Parr. Twice married and twice widowed, the town to earth Catherine offered comfort to Henry in his old age after their marriage in 1543. She outlived him and married for a fourth time. Twice married and twice widowed, the down to earth Catherine was reluctant at first to marry Henry, who wouldn't be. She knew the fate of his previous wives, though she also knew refusing the king could have drastic consequences. She had caught his eye when she had been part of the household of Princess Mary, the king's daughter. They were married in 1543, and by all reports, she was living pious wife who offered comfort to Henry in his old age. She helped Henry to consult with his two daughters, Mary and Elizabeth, who ensured they were educated and restored to succession. She outlived him and Mary for a fourth time. The Matter of Succession Upon Henry's eighth death in 1547, his son, 15-year-old Edward Seth, Sixth, took the range, only to die of consumption soon after. Sixteen-year-old Lady Jane Grey, Henry's eighth great-niece, was named as his successor part of a scheme to keep Henry's eighth staunchly Catholic daughter Mary with Catherine of Aragon off the throne. Mary made a counterclaim and gathered an army of 10,000 men to march on London. Triumphant, she became the first crowned Queen of England. Lady Jane Grey was imprisoned and later executed. Mary set out to restrain Catholicism, and in 1554, she married the Catholic Philip II of Spain, a rebellion led by nobles in Dyfins was defeated, and almost 300 Protestant heretics were burned to death, earning her the moniker of Bloody Mary by now. Mary's marriage had produced no children, and when she died in November 1558, it was with the knowledge that, despite all her efforts, her Protestant half-sister Elizabeth would succeed to the throne. So that's the end of Henry's eight six wives. It's so interesting, right? I know it's interesting. So bye-bye. I will see you in the next news with more interesting history. Bye. Now I've got to study now.